It's been a bit wet at times throughout the day today, especially earlier. And then just about an hour ago, we did have some heavier showers rolling through Mahoning County and even some folks in uh, Mercer, Lawrence and Trumbull County seeing some rain and downtown here in Youngstown. We didn't have a lot of rain in the mid afternoon when this time lapse was taken, although we do see those puffy clouds firing up in the distance. The area is a little bit on the unstable side today, and that's what's providing some of the fuel for the thunderstorms that we've seen uh, pop up throughout the afternoon and early evening hours, and we can see that cloud those clouds darkening just a bit. Most of the cloud concentration has been in eastern Ohio and most of Pennsylvania today, and they have uh, relatively burned off quite a bit today, but a lot of us in the valley have really been stuck with some of those clouds this afternoon. It really is one of the cloudiest spots in all of Ohio right now, and a lot of Pennsylvania seeing some clouds uh, throughout the evening. Some a uh, little bit of less clouds off to the west and plenty of sunshine, and that's what's in store coming for the day tomorrow, and that's good news for those folks who are looking to see a little bit of sun. Again, some rain right now still falling, a heavier shower across Lawrence County, even Grove City getting a heavy downpour right now, but those are moving on their way out, and just a few sprinkles down in Columbiana County, Guilford Lake, uh, Columbiana, and even just south of Canfield seeing some light showers at the moment, but it was not that much of a warm day at all. 77 degrees, that was right after uh, 320 this afternoon. Average high 81. We spent another day below the average, but we were almost on target with that low this morning. 61 degrees, record 97 back in the very warm 1930s and 48 back in the year 1976. Still a little bit on the cool side right now. 76 degrees, dew points at 64, so that humidity is definitely noticeable. And across the rest of the valley, not a whole lot of uh, temperature variation, but spots that are still seeing some rain. Borden at 70, Columbiana also at 70, Newcastle 75 degrees, and Lisbon at 75. And everyone's uh, feeling that moisture right now. Dew points in the mid 60s for a lot of spots. Even Warren at 68 degrees. It is very, very humid out there for a lot of folks. And much warmer out to the west where that sunshine has been throughout all day. And we can see where the area that's been cloudy, all, all the cloudy spots are in orange. And then the places that more have, have, have had more sunshine today are much warmer at the 6 o'clock hour. We are looking at high pressure coming in for the day tomorrow. That's going to be overhead. Plenty of sunshine for on Monday and even for parts of Tuesday as that high starts to shift east. But we are tracking a cold front that will be coming through midweek and that will bring us our next chance of showers and thunderstorms. But that will not be for the next 48 hours and we should start drying up this evening. Although a shower or two still possible tonight. 58 degrees, variable cloudiness, 82, warm, seasonable. We'll notice that humidity a little bit tomorrow, but it's not going to be uh, all that bad at all. 82 for that high, plenty of sunshine. 83 on Tuesday, we'll have some showers rolling through early Wednesday, 77. And then after that, we turn it up again by next weekend, but a lot of sunshine at the end of the week. And our next shot of rain after that, not till Sunday, so not and too bad. Still not bad, yeah. No. Thanks, Mike. Mm -hmm. All right, well, coming up next, just when it seems that college is expensive enough, scam artists are using fake ideas.